this this is kind of wild. The Google Play Store has suspended the app Downloader, a pro- popular app for sideloading on Android TV, following a DMCA takedown from several Israeli TV companies who complained that the app is capable of loading piracy websites. Yeah, that face is uh, about how you should be feeling about this right now. Downloader is essentially a combination of a web browser and file manager that allows Android TV owners to easily download files from the internet onto their device. It can display piracy websites, yes, but only to the same degree that any other web browser can display piracy websites. So they need to remove Chrome from the Play Store. Yeah. <clears throat> the specific piracy site that was noted in the complaint, Sidaro, Sidarat, I don't know, has received injunctions from Israeli and US federal courts. However, it is still online and can still be accessed in Google Chrome. <laughs> yeah. uh, prior to the takedown, Downloader had been downloaded over 5 million times. Yo, dog, I heard you like downloading, so I put a downloader in your download. It doesn't matter. Um, Google has rejected the developer's appeal to reverse the decision. It's still available on the Amazon App Store and the developer's own website, where you can sideload it, I guess. But if it's f- f- for sideloading, can you, can we just can we just stop letting tech illiterate people make legal decisions about tech? Is that something we can do? Do we have that power? <sighs> then again, you let big tech be in charge of it, and they're just going to walk all over everybody anyway. It's yep. not going to be better. Yep. Uh, yep. Oh man, that's really stupid. Like, how dumb. many points did your IQ drop just hearing this? Uh, the what was remaining, I'll say. Um, let's move on. We don't have that much time. Yeah, fine. Do we a have Japanese any time for YouTuber okay. was arrested for posting, monetizing, and posting and monetizing copyrighted content. The 52-year-old YouTuber was accused of uploading and monetizing a playthrough of the visual novel Steins Gate, My Darling's Embrace, a romantic comedy dating sim without permission from the developer. They had likewise posted videos that contained footage from anime series. Uh, These were not full episodes. They were narrated summaries condensing the material, which is a popular video genre in Japan. A primary point of contention was the relatively long duration of the videos and the fact that they contained the game's ending, meaning that they might act as a replacement for the original material. Seriously? Arrested. Bad precedent. Yeah. And this kind of seems to explain why Nintendo doesn't understand how the entire rest of the world views fair use. Because my understanding is fair use like kind of doesn't really exist there. Is that... Yeah, like at I, least not in the same way that it does here. I have no idea, but I don't think so. I have also heard some pretty intense arguments against people streaming or making let's plays or whatever of visual novels specifically. Is that what this was? Yeah, I was reading some. Yeah, because oh it no, is... romantic comedy dating sim. But yeah, oh, I thought it was seems to be very story driven. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to go on a tangent, I guess, and just say for visual novels specifically, because this is a thing on like Steam and stuff, people have been pretty against it because you're basically live streaming, flipping the pages in a book, and you're showing all the pages in the book. Right. Like there, there actually is not any other content. You're not playing the game, right? So, I don't know. This one sounds like it's not that, but that's just like, I know that's a, a an argument that's going on. Yeah, Jake from The Lab, who I think lived over there for a few <laughs> years, uh, says this is an interesting one, as Japanese copyright law uh, dictates that the owners need to aggressively defend their copyright, kind of like how trademark laws work here. So, this may not actually be something that the developer, the developer necessarily wants to do, but if they want to keep their copyright, that's it. Oh, seriously? Activision shuts down community-run servers for Legacy COD. See you later. Cease and desist from Activision. So the problem is that those community servers were the only safe way to play those games because Activision is not keeping their own servers up to date. So you can uh, something something uh, attack people through Activision servers because they're not secure. I I don't know all the details, but I know it's, like, bad. And they implemented their own anti-cheat, which is super cool. This is for the original Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, it's, like, way better. (sighs) A possible cause for their legal action is the fact that one of X-Lab's setup guides contained a link to an illegal copy of the game. Well, that's bad. But then they should have just said, take that down. Yeah. 
but then I can see why they don't want to micromanage this. Yep. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that. So the Modern Warfare 2 Steam page has seen a wave of negative reviews claiming that the game can no longer be safely played. That's true. Discussion question. Is there a way for companies to defend their IP while and allowing the community to take over old games if they're no longer interested in maintaining them? Yes, there is. Sort of. Because with Supreme Commander, which is super cool, the way that FA Forever exists, that was an IP that was no longer actively being developed, whereas Call of Duty is. So it's all fine and good as long as this, you know, X Labs version of the server is good and nobody is getting infected or whatever. But as soon as they make a mistake, well, whose liability is that? Yeah. But then you shouldn't, it should be. Uh, yeah, this gets it's a tough. messy topic. It's hairy. But they should not. Ugh. There should be some form of recourse for them selling old games at full fat price that are unplayable safely. Well, yeah. For massively extended periods of time. I think you get like three bucks in your class action uh, payout. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just never matters. <laughs>